Um, my name is Pat. My name is Nat. And Jet. We are Prognative. Uh, we are doing a automatic genetic testing software where low-income people can can have access to the test more. To compete with other students that are entrepreneurs too, to get here. So we're lucky to get to be here. It's good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> right, Hello, everyone. My name is Pat. I'm the co-founder of Prognative and one of the developers of Eva. Eva is a web application for labs and hospital, helping doctors to analyze genetic disorder, such as Down syndrome, from chromosomes images. According to Thai latest statistic, there are only 13 labs that serve genetic testing, which nine of them are located in the capital, which is Bangkok, and four others are located regionally. And in each lab, there are only a few numbers of technicians that are required to be trained for a year. With this problem, the lab capacity in Thailand is only 20,000 20, cases per year. Meanwhile, the total number of pregnancy is over 500,000. Because of this capacity problem, so only mothers whose age over 35 are being recommended to get tested. But in fact, every mother should have get tested because early diagnosis can help them better plan their futures. Generally, the test can be performed by taking out amniotic fluid and transporting the sample to capable labs. Technician in the lab then culture the cells and take a photograph of chromosome under a microscope. Genetic testing application is now used to dissect chromosome and rearrange them in pairs. In this process, there are multiple software being used inefficiently. For example, this one for taking an image, and number two is for lab's information system, and software number three is for analyzing the chromosomes. After that, chromosomes are examined so that abnormalities can be determined. And then, the permitted doctor come to verify the result, and finally, the result gets sent back to our origin hospital. Now, Due to inefficiency and few technician prolapse, bottleneck problem has been raised. Furthermore, multiple technician needs to do cross-checking to their results. Now that is wasting time and human resource. On top of that, uh, the, cur the current price of the genetic testing application is estimated to be about $10,000 per workstation. This, this price does not, does not include even a maintenance fee that occurred every year. Pricing like this made small labs suffocate because they don't have the money to pay it for a one-time expensive solution, and large-sized labs having difficulty to increase the capacity. So we have created EVA to solve all the problem. EVA is an automatic chromosome anal analysis application where all the technician have to do is upload the raw chromosome image and just wait for the result that is ready for the technician, for the permitted doctors to be verified at the end. This gives the labs more efficiency, more capacity, and fewer numbers of technician per case. We, deep learning is our secret sauce. Deep learning is a machine learning serve machine learning technique that's mimicked the activity of human brain in processing data and creating patterns from large amount of example. In which Eva has already learned more than for more than two millions of individual chromosomes, so it's understand how to classify it and identify it chromosomes. And the more data it gets, the smarter it is. So of course, uh, more data is coming from the government hospital and our partner. We also collaborate with Medical Genetic Center, which they, which they are our one of the 13 labs that I mentioned earlier, and they provide us more than enough data to create EVA. And they will be the one that tests and validate the result of our software. And most importantly, they will be our first customer. 
and they will connect us to other customers as well. There are existing solutions such as GenASI, Metasystem, and MicroOptic, but we're not the direct competitor to them, in which we'll open up a new segment of the market and which, which genetic set testing will be at much more lower price, which low-income people can access to the test in a countryside hospital. Eva is operating totally on cloud, so zero hassle in installation and maintenance service. And since Eva is fully automatic, the workload of the lab technician will be reduced drastically, so the capacity of the test will escalate. Our cost is lower, so the lab cost will be lower too. And furthermore, since uh, we designed Eva to be modular, so it can work fine with existing lab solutions, such as lab information system. Since our market is a niche market, plus it's business to business, direct sale will be the most appropriate channel at this point. In addition, being a new player in this uncontested market is our disadvantage. That is, trustworthiness become the first factor. So approaching them directly will help at this point. And we also have help desk if you have any question about the product. Therefore, EVA will be available in two plan. The pay-as-you-go plan, which we charge $3 per case, will be suitable for small size lab. And prepaid subscription plan, which we charge $3,000 a month and $30,000 a year, will be suitable for a medium to large size lab. And our price is already include all the upfront fee and the software is guaranteed to be always up to date and the price can serve up to 10 users per plan. EVA can be possible by our amazing team, which consists of software developers and genetic experts. We have started EVA in the beginning of 2017, which in March, we got second place in national software contest, and in April, we got third place of Microsoft Imagine Cup 2017. And in our, and right now, we achieve 75% in accuracy, which we will hit 90% of accuracy in October and launches by the end of the year. In 2018, we'll add more feature based on user feedback and we'll, we will research on new possibility of screening tools such as leukemia prognosis and cervical cancer screening tools. And in 2019, we will develop those tools and launches by the end of the year which can rely on EVA technology. And in 2020, is the year we're looking forward to enter an international market, which we will start in Southeast Asia. This year, we will focus on product development, so zero income can be expected. And in 2018, as well as Medical Genetic Center, one of the hospital, one of the government hospitals showed us an interest in our product, and they will be ready to test EVA. In 2018, we expect to have one subscriber and serve 12,000 cases. And in 2019, we expect to have three annual subscription and serve 21,000 cases. And in 2020, since we enter an international market, we'll earn more than $45,000. We also already got a seed funding from our government and university, and we we need, more, we need another $42,000 to launch EVA at full potential. Our business is not only profitable, but also help the society by making healthier generation and making healthcare more inclusive. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Um, my one question would be this, and I'm just going to throw this out there. I'm going to say Watson. We, we turn on 60 Minutes and then we see Watson is helping 
diagnose cancer patients in Duke at a, at a rate that no, there's just, there's just impossible to stay up with Watson. Or do, do you see that as a competitor, the supercomputers coming in, you know, eventually we're going to get to this portion of it, or do you want to, I don't think they're there now, but do you see them, you know, as, as a big future competitor now, so. I don't think there will be a, I don't think they will be our competitor because we we're, we are the one-stop solution. We al already got everything worked with, and we, um, sorry, we, we are, uh, <laughs> the, uh, we already integrated our application with the lab information system of, of the hospital. So our application, uh, I don't see them as a competitive competitors. Uh, not all genetic disorders can be detected. Um, how are you protecting yourself from um, lawsuits or liability? If I, I, you tested my genetics and did not find something, and then something happens, how are you protecting yourself? Our product is the tool for doctor to help them analyze the genetic dis genetic disorder, and w our solution can solve the problem with the with the karyotyping technique, which is the which analyze the chromosome from the images. So that is the there is some limitation in with by that, like. Uh, there are many there are many kind of di analyze genetic disorder analysis like fish technique or even uh, DNA sequencing, but those technique is uh, very expensive and require a lot of expensive equipment. But in this solution, uh, it's a, a lot of cheap. We use a lot cheaper equipment, and by that, uh, most of most of uh, the country that look like Thailand. Uh, and Southeast Asia use that technique because it's cheaper. But if the doctor said that this particular patient needs some more genetic testing, so that is another technique to use. But does the liability rest with you or with the hospital that purchased the license? The, the label that, that purchased, you know, you had where you could pay three thousand a month or thirty thousand mm -hmm. a year. Is that who's going to hold the liability? The company that has the license with you, or is it go to with you? What do you think? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm gonna say it to you this way: your your product. I bring my wife in, mm -hmm. and it says there's nothing wrong with her at mm -hmm. all. Our product's telling you that. And then there happens to be something wrong. In this country, oh. you would get sued. Okay. Does that make um, sense? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Sorry for our English. <laughs> um, our application just assists the doctor, and they have to be a doctor verified the, the result at the end. Otherwise, they're going to make a big deal out of, out of it. And it will be an a hundred percent in accuracy because the doctor will be verifying the result. And if the result of the software is not correct, they will correct it. Um, in one of the slides, you mentioned that you will get from seventy-five percent accuracy to ninety-five percent accuracy, right? Yes. Yeah. Is that a function of uh, just improving the algorithm um, uh, software? In 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 this in this milestone. Uh, we are the 75 percent is our prototype, and we aim to improve our prototype 90. to 90 percent. But as we launch the product, it will be re it can be relearned from the real case, so it will be more accurate over the time. So it is because of improvement in the software, and also like you will have more data. Yes, right. of course. Okay. I was just wondering about the economics for the labs that you're selling to. So you're charging them $3 a test. Mm -hmm. yep. How much are they charging for the test? 
how much is it charged in per test? Uh, it depends on the labs. And the minimum minimum charge is like two, uh, we have to translate into dollar. Uh, Something like that. Uh, Something like uh, 30, about. About 30 dollars per case. Okay, so. That, that so is, that's it, the lab chart. The right, so, so you're trying to get them to do 10 times as the number of, of tests that they yes. would normally do. That's yes, the yes exactly. Okay. exactly. Just wanted to clear that up, thanks. Yes, I just also was um, wondering about liability and risk uh, contingencies. Have you worked any risk plans in your financials and in your long-term planning for the product? The risk? Uh, we consider a risk that if the result is not is not quite correct, uh, but we think that the patient, the doctor who there will be a doctor who will verify the results. So, and the product will be get smarter and smarter. So, the risk will become less and less. And in Thailand, in Thailand, there is not. The, doc the doctor actually can analyze it like 100% accuracy because they they are more they have the experience and they're human. They're human, and of course they get the certification for doing that. So it's like he he, he is the one who verify the result. Okay, so um, from what I notice, this would be taking care of um, eliminating some of the. Um, of the technicians that are working, right? Basically, you're removing the, the workload. Th the workload. Yes, yes, the workload. Yes. Okay, okay. So, okay, I think I understand. Uh, I have a couple questions. So, you're going to in October, you're going to be achieving 90% accuracy. The current uh, manner in which um, this process uh, occurs now with all the technicians, what's their accuracy rate? 100%. Nearly 100%. Okay. Because they, they, they learn to do this and right. they okay. have the certification. Mm -hmm. uh, but our our tool is like helping them to do this task. Easier. They they learn they learn to analyze the task, not to manually dissect and identify, mm -hmm. and identify in such a way that to analyze the disorder. They we we reduce their workload. So when the end result is presented to the doctor, does the system instruct the doctor on why it made the decision that it made? So will all the data be there and then the doctor can actually go through the data that the system presents to the doctor and said, hey, here's why this is a negative or a positive case and the doctor can go through it and then if, they're, if he picks up or she picks up on an error is that how the system works, or is it just like, nope, they're good? No. And the doctor, I mean, what's the doctor base in his opinion on? The application will show the karyotype, it, it will show the chromosome that already be classified into each pair, mm -hmm. like in this one. Like this one, you will see that uh, this one, mm -hmm. and it will show, it will show that the some if that is the addition addition chromosome pair it will raise the flag the flags and it will tell the doctor that this chromosome have this percentage of be, being the abnormality something like that so the doctor will have will have the data and analyze this again how last question real quick uh, based on the software and the capability of the software and the algorithms and everything you could apply it to a lot of different things. Why did you pick this particular? This particular problem come from the, our partner, which is the one of the lab that we present you before. They, this project actually start from the project required for graduation. So we start from there, and we have the data that provided by our partner. So we start doing this first, and then of course, in the future, we will Brush out to different kind of tasks based on this technology. Okay, a few online questions. 
Uh, many genetic disorders cannot be detected with conventional methods. What range of diseases do you think this will accurately detect? Uh, mostly in, in this particular test, uh, chirotyping, the genetic disorder, uh, we can detect the numerical disorder like Down syndrome and some structural disorder like the deletion of the chromosome, something like that. So we can, but if in, we cannot detect the DNA, DNA level because it's just the, Im we analyze only the image. Okay, one more online question. What is the accuracy rate of your testing? In Iceland, the genetic testing is estimated at 80%. Pardon, again, please. What is the accuracy rate of your testing? In Iceland, the genetic testing is estimated at 80%. Right now, right now. What is the rate of your testing accuracy? Uh, for our product, it's like 70%, 75. 75% accuracy. accuracy. Right now. Right now. Thank you. Thank you.